I'm Dr. Mario Sanchez from Sixaola, Costa Rica. I am an industrial pharmacist and project manager at MSG Pharma, a medical equipment manufacturing company, which I run with my sister, Gerlani, who is our quality manager. In February of 2020, one of my clients contacted me to see if I could provide him with high-grade medical masks. Given the demand of the COVID-19 pandemic, I didn't have the product, so I set out on research. While researching for suppliers, I discovered some in Europe. At last, we saw an opportunity. My sister and I crossed the Atlantic and we landed in Poland. However, we couldn't do business with the Polish manufacturers without the shortage and restrictions of medical supplies at that moment in Europe. We didn't give up, we continued the search, and we traveled to Germany, then to Greece, and finally the Netherlands. All this unsuccessful. It was like hunting a ghost, and the threat of being stunted because of the lockdowns, borders, and air closures forced us to return to Costa Rica on March 13. 500,000 people had lost their lives, and Europe is now become the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic. Back home, we continued the search for different options, and we decided to manufacture PPE here in Costa Rica. We start with reusable masks, but we continue to look forward for know-how, expertise, and technical details to manufacture masks for medical use. In this process, we hear about the United Nations Tech Access Partnership. Without hesitation, I contact them. Immediately, I got an answer and an interview. They contact me with Menses, a Turkish company, experts on membrane filtration and technical textiles. At this point, I felt a great sense of relief that my search for expertise had finally come to an end. We worked hard together and concluded that the best was to maintain the design of our current product, adding an extra layer of the membrane manufacturing in Turkey as a protective layer. Thanks to the United Nations Tech Access Partnership, I have the honor of meeting high-quality professionals in engineering, like Dr. Ismail Kujunku, Director of the National Research Center on Membrane Processes. I have access to technical support from Istanbul Technical University to carry out the product safety test, and Menses gave me a section of business conditions for this project to happen in a record time of just three months. I can probably tell you that at the beginning of October, we were given the results of the particle filtration efficiency test. Our improved mask offers a 99.12% of protection, equivalent to a FFP3 of European standard. Today, we are waiting for our first shipment of raw material from Turkey to start the production of high medical masks. This will be impossible without the United Nations Tech Access Partnership. In just a few weeks, we will be ready to truly save lives in Central America and the Caribbean region.